Grambling and Jackson State faced off before a national audience. Which Tiger had the biggest bite? Stay tuned, GFN starts now. What's up, Graham fam? I'm Damian Runnels, and welcome to another edition of GFN. Grumbling faced off against the Tigers of Jackson State. Everybody know what we're here to do, right? Yes, sir. What do we talk about? Taking our place, right? Yes, sir. Let's take our place. It starts tonight. It starts from the very first play. Let them know that you're here to play tonight. You got it? Yes, sir. And let them know they did. Grambling's first play of the game. Kincaid goes for it all with a 51-yard strike to Chad Williams. Tigers come out swinging. Chad Williams. Grambling's defense came out swinging too. Arquez Cooper and Samuel Reese bring the pain with a sack for a big loss. And a few plays later, Joe McWilliams with the smooth pick takes it to the house, 62 yards on the return. And that's gonna be a pick six. Graham fam loving it. JSU fam, not so much. The black and gold defense was relentless in the first quarter, holding Jackson State scoreless. Second quarter, Martez Carter gets the quick dump off from Kincaid, then lays the boom to get the first down for Grambling. Carter again, slick as a jerry curl, spinning off tackles and almost gets in for the TD. But that's okay. Third time's a charm. Carter leaps to seal the deal. Grambling kicks the extra point and then goes in 21 zip at the half. Third quarter. Did I mention that Grambling's defense came to play? Arquez Cooper with another sack. Then big fella, Donovan McCray, scoops it up and takes it to the house. Grambling's second defensive touchdown for the game. Then Jackson State, after a long drive, goes for it on fourth down. Nothing doing, and Grambling takes over on down. And then this, Kincaid sacked in the end zone, coughs it up, right into the hands of Jackson State for a touchdown. Jackson State finally gets on the board with their first score of the game. Later in the third, Groundlings defense steps up, forcing another turnover. Jamil Jackson with a nice interception. Fourth quarter. Justin Kelly breaks free on a huge run to get Groundling deep in Jackson State's territory. Inside the 15-yard line is Justin Kelly. And then Chad Williams takes it outside. Then he's stripped. Jackson State still not giving up. They couldn't convert. Grambling's ball. Kincaid fires a long one to Williams. Then he takes a big hit on the one-yard line. Williams is down in pain as he took a big hit at the one-yard line. He took a hard shot but was able to bounce back. Then Justin Kelly first and goal on the one, breaking tackles into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Jackson State scored later in the fourth, but the Tigers get the commanding victory. At Veterans Memorial in Jackson, Mississippi, Grambling beats Jackson State 35-14. Next up, the Tigers head back to take on the Braves of Alcorn. Alcorn beat the Tigers convincingly for the SWAC championship. And Fred McNair, brother of former NFL great Steve McNair, took over as head coach after the departure of Jay Hobson for Southern Miss. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Remember to tell a friend about GFN. I'm Damian Runnels, thanks for watching.